Okay, now that um, we've got uh, WAMP server installed down here, you can see I've got it running down here. Um, it's time to uh, get Joomla going uh, with our new WAMP server. So, um, first things first, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to download Joomla. So, if I go to Joomla.org, so here's Joomla.org, J-O-O-M-L-A.org, click on Download Joomla to get the latest version, and then I'm going to scroll down here, and I'm going to get 1.5.15, the full package, and I'm just going to click on this zip file and download it here to my desktop. So I click here and hit save and download it to my desktop. I've already got it downloaded so I'll just leave it there. Okay so that's a good job so I can close that. Now another thing I want to do is I want to run phpMyAdmin and phpMyAdmin is a PHP program which interfaces and is almost like a um, uh, graphical configuration tool for the MySQL server. So here's PHP MyAdmin, and it's allowed to, it, it it's um, created to talk to MySQL. So with this tool, I can very easily, using this web browser interface, create a database. So I'll create a new database here for my test site, and I'm going to call it Test Site. Okay, and you can see my settings here: collation here, uh, MySQL connection collation UTF-8 underscore general underscore CI. I'm just going to hit create and database test site has been created so there's my database okay so that's good and n now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my root folder so I'll click here on WAMP server and go to www directory which basically takes me to my C drive into my WAMP folder and into my www folder and in here what I'm gonna do is copy my um, Joomla zipped package which I just downloaded and what I need to do here is extract it so I'll right click on it extract all and then just hit next and then next and then finish and that will extract the folder now my computer runs a little slowly so I've pre extracted it and here's what it extracted to uh, a folder with the same name so there's the zipped folder and here is the regular folder now Notice on my folders here, I can see my um, file extensions, see .html, and here I can see .zip and whatnot. I do that because I have tools, folder options, view, hide extensions for known file types turned off, and that's really important. So anyway, I'm going to change the name of this um, unzipped package to test site for instance okay so my database is called test site right now and also this folder is called test site they don't have to have the same name I'll, even, I'll just call this one how about my site my site okay so now I can in my browser go to localhost remember localhost if I hit localhost hello world and instead I'll just go to localhost forward slash my site and when I do that I get the installation script for installing Joomla and it looks just like this and I'm going to it's a like a um, installation script that goes through a bunch of tests and gets you all set up so I'm gonna hit next right for languages English right um, this is a test to see that you have things set up correctly I have a couple of things that are uh, red marked but they're gonna be okay okay and I'll hit next and I need to look at the license here's the open source license the GNU general public license okay and that GNU stands for of course GNU not Unix and that's open source license and I'll hit next and my host name is going to be this is the connection database configuration settings that will connect with my um, database so host name is usually localhost my username is root because I only have one user for my database and its root my password was my pass and my database name was test site I believe okay and if I hit next if I don't get a um, if I don't get a uh, an error message then I've 
connect connected correctly with the database. To do it, the main thing is that you need to you know your um, database username and then the database name. That is the most important thing. Okay, FTP configuration. I can set this up later, so I'll just hit next. And then my site name, this is almost, we're almost done here. Enter the name of your Joomla site. So I'm going to say my first site, let's say, something like that, just for a test, right? And then this is important, your email address where they, you can be contacted. So I could put my email in here. I'm just going to put nan or nim at nim.com since this is a test and my admin password I'll just put in um, I'll put in a different uh, I'm just going to type in password pass word and then type in pass word all right and then this is important you can install sample data and that's important because if you don't you're just going to get a, a blank Joomla site with uh, nothing to start with if you install the sample data, you're going to have like menus that are already created and polls and all kinds of things to work with and kind of test out. So I recommend the first time you do this to definitely install the sample data. So I'm going to click on that button and the sample data is installed correctly. And then I'll hit next. And then it says congratulations Joomla is now installed, but in red letters, remember to completely remove the installation directory before you can go to your site or the administrative side of your site. So it's no big whoop, you just go back to your www directory. There is my folder for my site, I'll open that up. And here is Joomla, this is the Joomla, all the folders and files that make up Joomla, right? And I need to delete the installation folder. So I'll take that folder and press delete and hit yes. And now the installation folder is deleted. So now I can go back here and I can click on site and it'll take me to my site. So now, if I type in localhost forward slash my site, I see this, and it is my site. If I type in localhost forward slash my site forward slash administrator, I end up at the back end administration window for my site, and there I can put in admin, and then the password, of course my password was the word password, and log in and I'm in the back end of my Joomla um, site. So we've installed we've installed Joomla. We've got the back end, make a new tab here and type localhost forward slash my site and there's the front end. There's the front end with a sample you can see the sample files that are installed and here's the back end, the administrative end. That was pretty easy.